So you might have been going to a party and you remember last minute that you don't have a gift. We usually grab a bottle of wine and problem solved, but what if? What if you could make them a nice wooden box to go with the bottle? And even better, what if you could personalize it like this? You know, to show them that you really like them? You don't have to like them, but they'll think you do. And the big question is, will this box really hold a bottle of wine or will it just break? So first things first, I measured a bottle of wine we had at home. But remember that all bottles aren't the same size, so get your measurements right. And now that I have my measurements, let's head into Invendable's easel to create the box. And I'll be using Easel Pro for this project. And first we want to enter the numbers on our workpiece because we're going to use the box maker in Easel and it will use the actual thickness of your material when calculating the size of the box. So up here we're going to say it's birch plywood. We're going to have 150 by 350 by 6 millimeters. So now we have our workpiece right here. Let's zoom out a bit. And we're also going to change the bit. And I'm going to be using a three millimeter bit for this. And I have the plywood cut to several pieces because it won't all fit on this small CNC. Now, before we continue in easel, let me talk about this machine a bit. This is the 3018 Pro. If you want to know more about the machine, I have a review of it. This one is actually upgraded with a bigger work surface. So my total work area is 320 by 340 millimeters. Now back to easel. And now let's head into the box maker. Here we'll start by entering the width of the box. It's going to be 330 by 110 and 110. And we want to have a top and we also want to activate the dog bones. I'll get to that later. And let's just import the pieces. And since all of the pieces won't fit on one page, I'm just going to make five pages where I can separate the pieces. So let's start with this piece. I'm going to select it and I'm going to rotate it 90 degrees like this. And then I'll just position this piece on top of here. Now, if we zoom in on the workpiece, as you can see, we have these dog bones. And that is because I'm using a three millimeter bit. And if I would have deselected dog bones, it would have created rounded edges here, and that would be impossible to put together. The other option is, of course, to use a really small bit. It's going to cut six millimeters, and it's going to cut outside the shape path, but we also want to use tabs. So I'm going to activate those. I usually move these around because it's going to be hard cutting them in a corner like this. So I just move them around so it will be easy to remove the tabs later on. I'm going to create a new work piece and then I'll just go ahead and copy this piece onto here and I'll rotate that 90 degrees as well. And I'll do the same with the tabs but I don't want tabs on this little piece right here because that's where the lid is going. So I'm going to select just this piece, use tabs and move the tabs around again. And then I'll just repeat the, this process until I have all my pieces on separate pages. I have Easel Pro, which means I can add all kinds of fonts. So just click the font tab and you can click up here to add fonts. And there are a bunch of different fonts to use from. I found this one that is called Dancing Script that I'm going to be using. And I'm going to write a name on the lid. This is of course the name of the person who is getting the box, otherwise it would be weird. And I'll rotate that 90 degrees and I can resize it like this. And I can click both my objects and I can center it to the box. So this won't be able to cut on a three millimeter bit. So I'm going to change that to a 25 degree bit. And that is a pro version, but you can add more bits. And this one is a 25 degree bit. And as you can see, it's going to look a lot better. And that of course, isn't going to cut all the way through. It now says Julia on the lid, but I want to add something on one of the sides as well. And I found this dead skull in the pro design library. That will send a weird message to the receiver for sure. It might look like the wine is poisonous and in some ways it actually is. Because this was also the cheapest bottle I could find. And I'm going to set that to cut around one millimeter. And for that I'm going to use a 1.5 millimeter bit. And I'm going to say cut on shape path. 
and that's going to look like this. Now we're actually ready to start cutting and I have the feed rate set to 400 millimeters per minute and the depth per pass is set to 0.4 millimeters. Well, now I have all my pieces cut and the first thing I need to do is remove the tabs we set up earlier. All right, so before I glue it up, I'm going to fill the engraved parts with this. This is called Millipot. It's a two-part dough that you mix the two parts together and you fill the engraved parts and wait a while and it's going to get rock hard and then you can just sand off the residue. You want to make sure you mix it good enough and there are actually different colors to get but this one is going to turn black. Alright, so now I have all my pieces, so let's glue it up and see how it turns out. So that was a hard glue up, but now I'll just leave it overnight and uh, tomorrow morning I can unclamp it and uh, we'll try it out. Give it some nice finish as well.
All right, so there we have it. Uh, I hope the, the person getting this is going to be happy. Uh, it's a super easy way to customize just the wine box with the cheap CNC, the 3018 Pro and the Easel Pro software that I used. And yeah, it seems to actually hold up really good. I really enjoy working with this Milliput two-part dough. Uh, it gives, it looks so good when you apply the finish, it turns black and it's just an easy way of uh, filling out the engraved parts. The Milliput dries in about three hours, but if you apply some heat to it, it will dry within a couple of minutes, so you don't have to wait either. Now, of course, this can look so much better if you use hardwood or something else to, to make a, a really nice box. Now, I've got a party to attend to, but I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!